Welcome to Daytime Ottawa here on Rogers TV. We have a great show for you, and I'm going to dive right into our first guest because he is an incredibly busy man. He is a hip-hop, electronic artist, a motivational speaker, and a fashion designer. I am joined by Cody Coyote. Cody, how how, how you doing? It's great to see you. Hey, I'm doing well yourself? I'm doing great, Good thanks. Good to see you, too. It's, uh, it's been a while. You were just saying off camera. Uh, first interview we did was what, back in 2015? Yeah, 2015, I'm here. Now it's getting real long. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> well, as I said off the top, you're, you've are you been incredibly busy. You have a new EP, so let's make that our starting point. T tell me about the new EP. It's uh, It's been a long time in the making. Yeah, so uh, uh, that word means Vishnabe Moen. And um, I've been working on this project since uh, 2018, and these songs kind of came to me there. Um, I thought it was it was time to really start speaking up about things in uh, regards to the relationship department. Um, a lot of the stuff that I had been through in uh, regards to, to like my, my romantic life and relationship life, um, there's the good and the bad that's right. associated with that. And... Uh, the CP is really just like putting the, the focus on what I've been through as an individual. Yeah, and yeah, you've been through a lot. Uh, you know, uh, part of the, the reason you became a mo motivational speaker is because of what you've gone through and all the challenges and the bullying and growing up as an Indigenous person. Uh, tell us how motivational speaking came about and, and maybe some of those challenges that you discuss. Uh, yeah, it really started after high school. Like... I, I found my voice through music, and uh, they had a recording studio at my old high school where we were able to go in there and experiment with, uh, you know, our lyrics and, and creating and that sort of thing. Um, after high school, I went back in there, and I shared a little bit about uh, my story and what I went through while being a student there, um, talking about being bullied for having long hair, really explaining about trying to navigate a colonial world, not knowing uh, where I was from, not knowing my language, not knowing my family. And then uh, later on, the the focal point became, you know, me meeting my family when I was 25 years old. And and Cody, during the pandemic, you, you had a chance to, to reconnect with family. T tell me how that came about and, and the story behind your, your great, 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 great grandfather. <laughs> there you got it yeah <laughs> um it was, it was uh you know it was remarkable just just going up there with my father and uh, my brothers and just reconnecting with more of our cousins uh from Atachuan first nation and the more time that i spent talking with our elders and learning more about our family's uh history and our lineage um uh, i found out that my ancestor, as, as you mentioned, was the first recognized chief of Metaxuan First Nation. His name was Chief uh, Mattel, uh, Michel Batiste Twain, sorry. And uh, he was also a signatory of Treaty Number no. 9. Now, like, uncovering this, this piece of information, I obviously wanted to go and dig deeper and learn a little bit more about my family. And um, there were some, some not so good things that were associated with with what's happened with my family. Right. One of them being that my grandmother was taken to uh, the Spanish Indian residential schools in Spanish Ontario. And so was my great uncle and a lot of my other cousins. Yeah, and what's been uncovered um, has been, um, you know, just devastating and uh, it's opened up a conversation, thankfully. Uh, certainly some of the most tragic uh, things that I've, I've seen and heard as, as a Canadian in, in my lifetime, Cody. Um, I want to change gears for just a moment because I want to give people a taste of, of, of your music and, and of, your, of the type of performance that you do. So I'm going to throw to a clip and, and we can come back and discuss uh, your fashion line in just a moment. Find us with the ones who feel for the young. Heartbeat like the drum when we breathe with our lungs. Nanda Wabam, Oshke Iwan, Dawe Igan. 
Maranamo. Spirit has reached a point that it makes. Others come near with the love it creates. Stare at the sea, then gaze at the waves. Reminded of life and we won't let it fade. Dancing with pride, healing inside. The water beneath, revealing my time. Chanting alive, the drum is my guide. The language I speak will revitalize. Well, as people can see, Cody uses his music to share his story and, and his culture. And Cody, you also do that through your fashion line and, and it gives back. Uh, tell everybody at home about your fashion line and how it gives back to disadvantaged communities. So I, uh, I launched uh, this line last year when uh, the pandemic first started and it's called Bamadzwin Collective, which means the Life Collective. I'm actually wearing a, a new t-shirt. It's a part of our, our new collection called the Life Collection. 10% uh, of every sale goes back to disadvantaged communities. And just painting a, a picture of what we've done this past year, we were able to give away $500, uh, 250 to the Assembly of Seven Generations, and uh, 250 to Odenewin, which is a language-based uh, youth camp. And uh, yeah, it really just started as an idea, and now it's, it's blowing up. People are purchasing internationally, which is... Something I, I thought wouldn't even have been uh, achievable. I thought it was just going to be, you know, here on Turtle Island. But seeing that we're getting orders from like the UK and Australia and that sort of thing is uh, it's quite remarkable. Yeah, it's amazing. And uh, we brought up the website there so people can find out uh, more information about all the hats that you wear and all the fantastic things you're doing in the community. Thanks so much for joining us, uh, Cody. It's great to see you again. Awesome. Big much. And likewise, you take mm -hmm. care. Take care. Don't go anywhere. Coming up after the break, Dr. Joyce Johnson is going to help us with some of those holiday health fixes.